not just any day humans can get up close to the world's largest creatures. That is, unless you ride along with Captain Joe Nazar. For whale watching, it's been the best uh, season that I have ever had. His daily whale watching excursions with San Francisco whale tours this summer have turned up plenty of the giants. We've had a tremendous year with blue whales and an uh, amazing year with humpbacks. In normal years, Nizar travels nearly 30 miles to the Fairlawn Islands to the whales feeding grounds. They're going out and in a couple hours, they're out among these amazing creatures that are jumping out of the water, full breaches. But this year, Nizar's trips have been much shorter. That's because the whales have been coming closer to shore. And we've been seeing them come inshore a little bit further than they usually do, closer to the city and closer to the coastline. Right? And and marine biologist Steve Wood that. says that might be due to the unique currents that supply krill and plankton for the whales to eat. In this year, we've had very strong upwelling, perhaps strong enough that a lot of those plants and animals have been closer into shore and not as much in the deep water. And so the whales have been following them inshore. But the situation here isn't as extreme as on the central coast, where humpback whales have been venturing into harbors, breaching next to boats and kayakers. So you'll see pictures of humpback whales coming up with their mouths and, and gullets full right next to people. While the rare occurrence may make for great photos, Wood says it poses dangers for the whales. But it also could be potentially a dangerous situation for those whales. Uh, one of the big threats to whales in this area is that boats can hit them. And we uh, came across humpback whales, and uh, it was a uh, longitude and latitude would I write down each day. Nazar keeps a daily log of all the whales he encounters, blues, grays, and humpbacks. And to his delight, the pages are filling up faster than ever. It's great for the species as a whole. Um, they need not to be forgotten, and they need to be protected at all costs. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.